हे गाइस सो आफ्टर स्पेंडिंग अबाउट एट मंथ्स इन दिस हाउस हियर आई एम फाइनली शेयरिंग माय होम टूर वीडियो सो दिस इज एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ द लिविंग रूम व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू सी एज सून एज यू एंटर इनटू द हाउस दिस लिविंग रूम इज एक्चुअली रियली टाइनी द होल अपार्टमेंट इज प्रिटी स्मॉल ऑन द फर्स्ट कॉर्नर ऑफ द लिविंग रूम इज देर आई हैव केप्ट दिस टेबल it's a small side table on which i've kept a few decorative pieces i have these plants uh, these are all fake plants that i got from ikea i also have a buddha statue here and a plant that hangs down basically i'm going for a very calming vibe here because i like to sit close to this and do all of my reading next to that is where i have my couch but uh, between the couch and the side table i have this beautiful areca palm plant this is a real plant and it's actually very low maintenance which is why i've kept it in my living room even though i don't get a lot of sunlight here it's pretty easy to maintain the couch that i have is a very neutral colored couch because i wanted it to be as light as possible so that the room looks big but to add a little bit of color element on it i have these four custom made cushion uh, cushions kept on it these are all cushion covers made from a designer boutique that i ordered from online it's called regalia i'll leave a link to order their products in the description box below they make a lot of very beautiful indian prints and i really love it on the opposite side of the couch is where i have my dining table In front of the dining table is where I have this window. On the window the curtain that I have matches exactly with the cushion covers that I have. I got the curtains and the cushion covers made together as a set from the same designer boutique. I absolutely love the Indian Indian print that it has and it adds a nice pop of color as well as keeps the room pretty bright because of the white fabric. Now moving on to the dining table this is a six seater dining table and again this is also custom made this was actually gifted to us by one of my cousins and i absolutely love how this is the dining table is uh, made with cast iron wrought iron and it has jute thread work on it and it actually looks pretty unique because it's very difficult to find such designs usually on like online stores or any other stores Since this is a pretty big table we don't use this every day we usually have it only when our, when we have guests over now the table mats that i have here are again really pretty and i got them made together with the same set from the same designer boutique again i really like them because they are really unique and they don't have a mass produced vibe to it for decoration i have only kept a fake plant here along with a candle and that's it i actually prefer to keep my table as empty as possible Now on the other side of the room uh, other side of the living room is where we have the dining and the kitchen area uh, this is exactly opposite this room like you can see here here i have placed a two seater dining table which is where paritosh and i usually have our dinner when we don't have guests over it's also really nice for us to sit together sometimes when either he is cooking or i am in the kitchen then the other person can sit here and we can all have a nice conversation i've kept a very simple table cover on it and for decoration i just have a plant and some bottles Connected to this area is where we have our kitchen. Now this kitchen is pretty big. It's actually very very spacious and I absolutely love it. I have a full kitchen tour in one of my videos, so I'm going to leave a link to that video so that you can have a clear look at how the entire kitchen looks like. I will not waste a lot of my time showing you the kitchen again. On the other side of the table and opposite the kitchen is where I have in the dining area itself I have this fridge it's a simple two door fridge which is good enough for two of us and on the fridge I've placed some of our pictures and some fridge magnets for decoration and on the other side of this is where we have our bedroom now the bedroom is actually pretty spacious and we've kept the color theme white so that it looks bigger than what it is in reality on one side of the bedroom is where I have my dressing table I've kept the dressing table very very simple. I got this one from Pepper Fry. It was very inexpensive. I've just kept the very basic minimal things on the table, things that I use on a regular basis. And I also have a table lamp here. I love the vibe of this table lamp and alongside the mirror I have attached some of my fairy lights because again in the bedroom I really like to have this kind of a vibe. On the wall above my bed is where I have these two empty picture frames because I just got them like 2 hours back before I shot this video and I have a photo frame of us get uh, from on the day when we got married. On the bed here I have a basic white sheet this again I got from IKEA and the blanket is also from IKEA along with a uh, four uh, pillows I actually don't like loading my bed with too many pillows and cushions but four is just a good number for us because it's used on a regular basis. The bed sheet also is really pretty because indigo is one of my personal favorite colors and along with white it just looks really pretty. 
on the other side of the bed is where we have a side table now this side is where paritosh sleeps so this is his side table so or for decoration there's just one fake plant and we have some water here again we have an empty frame because i got it just 2 hours back on the opposite side here we have our two cupboards which is where we keep all of our clothes and in the big window area in between is where we've hung a few fake plants i really like these white hanging planters with some fake plants in it again i got these from ikea a lot of things are actually from ikea because we made a quick trip to hyderabad and got a few things from there the curtain is again pretty white in color because uh, i like to keep the theme white and yeah that is the overview of our bedroom but before we move on to the other room i really wanted to show you guys this sketch that paritosh made for me this was actually a birthday gift that he gave me the first time we spent my birthday together about 3 years back and yeah so with that the bedroom tour is done and let's move on to the other room now this is the other bedroom but i've actually converted it into my home office Again I won't be spending a lot of time in this room because I've made a complete home office tour video. I'll leave a link to that video also in the description box below. But basically for this room also I have the same white theme going on because I think it makes the area look really bright. And apart from that I have just made sure that this place has all of the things that are important for me to work and there are some inspirational posters and things that I've hung all around the room so that I remain inspired because working from home is not that easy. In the drawers again I've kept some of the most basic things that I need on a regular basis like my notebook my pens notepads and things like that So that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed watching my home tour video this is just a very temporary sort of home that we have right now it's enough for two people and we're pretty happy with how it's turned out for all of us um do let me know in the comment section below how you enjoyed watching my home tour and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time in my next video bye